Hey everyone, thanks for joining this TRM2 upper body. Um, for this workout, if you don't have a TheraBand, that's going to be good enough tension for your shoulders. You can take a dishcloth and uh, roll it up and use it for the IYTW work, for the shoulder stabilization work that we're going to do, and strengthening work of course. Um, and just note, because I'm going to be using my TheraBand in the workout, but just note that when you work in an eye, your hands are closer together and you're just pulling the, um, cl uh, the cloth apart, the, the dishcloth apart. And then in the Y, my hands are to the edge of the dishcloth. In a T, they're out in front of my chest and I'm pulling out. And in the W, based on your flexibility, if you aren't able to bring your hands up and over your head without moving your face forward, your neck forward, and just pulling down, kind of like a surfing pull-up in a wide grip, we're finding the lats. Um, Otherwise, I mean, you can do all this work just with your hands in the air. It's more than enough, uh, especially working through injury. Like I had a bad shoulder injury myself. So you're able to find all that body weight work with um, a dish towel or just free. And take your water bottle, make sure it's filled up. We're got, we are going to be using it as a prop. You don't want to use anything much heavier than that uh, just because you will be getting fatigued. If you don't have any of those props, props pause this video, but if you do, Let's get started. We're gonna find an active child's pose with our knees a little bit wider than hip width apart. Our feet can come together, sitting on hips back. And like a wave coming forward, we're gonna roll forward and back. Just because we are gonna be finding a lot of shoulder work today. So in five seconds, we'll find a thread the needle stretch and we'll start with our right hand reaching up. Make your way back to center. The knees can come a little bit closer together as your right arm reaches up and threads through. I've dropped my head down towards the mat. If you have the flexibility to tent through your left fingertips and perhaps reach your left hand to the small of your back, but if that's uncomfortable, again, there should be no tension in the neck. Uh, you can make your way back or ease off of the stretch. Make sure you're breathing in the stretch. Unwinding, make your way back up. And the left hand comes up, and the left hand goes through. Again, you can tent through the right fingertips, reaching your right hand up, and on the small of your back. Placing that right hand back down, and up. Taking a few moments to take your body through whatever final movements it needs. We're going to be doing a uh, first little bit of work from our hands. So if you need a little bit of wrist preparation, find it. Otherwise, it's time for bird dog. We know this one, reaching the right hand up, left leg back. Trying not to wobble. Maybe even challenging yourself and placing your hand on the small of your back, making sure that your hips are square. Next time you're out in extension, take a little pause and then connect elbow to knee. Inhale, reaches back out and down. Make sure your knee gets placed hip width apart so your legs do not come together. Shoulders should be starting 
starting to warm up. Back to your neutral, sorry, back to your forearm plank. You're gonna make your way up onto your right hand, left hand, and right hand makes its way to your right hip, left hand to your right hip. Again, walking those feet nice and wide. We've got super person coming up. In five. Onto our stomachs. All right, inhale to prepare. Exhale to reach everything up. only the right hand, the right arm, and the left leg. Again, my gaze stays down on the mat. I'm not looking forward to not put any strain on the back of my neck. And try to keep your core intact on your exhale. Super person, all limbs lift and come back down. Fifteen seconds till you use your water bottle as a little bit of weight and take this super person around the world. Now, grab your water bottle. I'm going to keep my forehead down, but if you'd like, you can hover your face off of the mat. Now, the biggest thing here is, as I go in one way, I'm going clockwise right now. See if you can avoid the hands touching the hips and when your hands reach behind your back, and the hands, avoid hands dropping down as you reach overhead. We're going to hold over behind our hips. And if you aren't able to reach because of flexibility, this is where you would use something a little bit bigger. And you're going to pulse the backs of the arms up, keeping your shoulders up, gaze down. You should feel this in your triceps, in your shoulder blades. We're going to switch direction of our around the world in three. Here we go, counterclockwise. Starting to feel this through our shoulders and our arms, absolutely. There should be no tension in the back, um, and pain in the back, I should say. You may be feeling strengthening in the back. If you need to take a break, or if that water bottle is starting to get a little too heavy, just kind of bring your hands through the movements. Next time your arms reach overhead, see if you can hold it. This is where your head may need to come down and you're gonna reach up. Drop those shoulders away from your ears. Relax your jaw. 10 seconds. Grab that strap or that towel. It's time for some IYTW. So I'm gonna do all this kneeling, but if you prefer to sit um, <coughs> on your bum cross-legged, you can. So for the I, my hands are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna go right into a Y by simply walking my hands just a little bit wider and pulling tension at the top to make that capital letter Y. I'm gonna land out in front, give myself a thumbs up, and pull out into a T. I've got the shoulder flexibility to find my W behind my head and pull those elbows down. And repeat. I, with your hands a little bit closer together. Overhead, Y, walking those hands a little bit apart and pulling again, lighting up the arms. T, W, 
and then pulling down, kind of like a, a surfing pull up. On the next one, we're gonna pulse in I. So my hands are gonna be nice and close, and I'm just pulling my arms up, and they're ever so gently pulling away. seconds. Back to IYTWs. Whew. In three. Here we go. I. Y. Take your time here. T. And W. Watch that the ribs don't flare up, keeping your neutral spine. If you need a little bit more uh, instruction on the neutral spine, visit the master video. On the next one, we're pulsing out in Y. So reaching your arms overhead, and then you're reaching the strap or the tension apart. Again, if you've got the dishcloth, you're pulling against tension. That's not gonna give, so you're just finding that strength. We're over halfway done our workout. Back to IYTWs. And rolling it out. If you can keep going, don't take the break. that breath fluid. All right, time to pulse out in the T. I'm going to walk my hands a little wider. Start to get fatigued. So this is a reverse fly. We're channeling the muscles in your back to pull your shoulder blades together while you keep your neck long. Keep going, five seconds. IYTWs, here we go. This is our last round. We've got the W, hold. In 15. Excellent shoulder stabilizing work. Here we go, W's. So again, if you're finding you're getting tired or the form's going down, bring your hands out in front of your chest. But if you've got that flexibility, you're trying to keep tension and pull the elbows down. Exhale, inhale. 15. Again, if you're reaching with your arm, with the strap behind your head, make sure that your neck is not going forward, your chin stays back. All right, time for low plank to pike. Make your way onto your forearms. You're gonna walk your feet forward, and then you're gonna walk your feet back. So it's a little bit different. What you should start to feel is all your body weight being shifted, or majority being shifted into your forearms and your shoulders as if you're about to go into a headstand or a shoulder stand. Obviously, that's not an exercise in the reform method, but low plank to pike is. So that's where we're gearing towards. Last one, hold your low plank. If you've got more energy, up, up, down, down for 25 more seconds, staying on your toes, seeing if everybody can stay on your forearms and your toes. If you need to drop to your knees, do so. But if you can stay up with me for 15 more seconds, in 10, Roll 
rolling plank. Finding the left forearm down, right hand up. Rolling onto your right forearm, left arm up. Now, instead of relying solely on the arms, can you put more strength in your waist, in those side abs? Low plank to pike. Super person, second round. Exhale lifts you. Inhale, you lower down with control. Five seconds till we alternate. Here we go. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Can you slow it down? This will feel really good for all of us who've been sitting just a little bit more these past few weeks. Back to super person, here we go. Relax your neck. You've got five seconds. We're going right into push-ups. Here we go. I'm going to stay on my knees, but if you've got the energy, get onto those toes.
right side or side plank. Here we go. We're going to be making our way onto our back in 23 seconds for our final minute of work in a bicycle. So if you don't know bicycle, I'll walk you through some options. 10 seconds. In three, two, lying down on your back. Heads, uh, your fingertips are gonna uh, scoop up your head. You're gonna bring your right forearm, right elbow, sorry, to your left knee, and then switch. Left elbow is gonna come towards your right knee. Try to peel a little bit more of your back and shoulders off of the mat as you twist. See if you can touch your elbow to your knee. Last 10 seconds. job. Hug those knees in towards your chest and rock side to side. When you can, you can safely make your way up. This calls for a little bit of a chest opener back stretch. So if you'd like, you can find um, a spot on the wall and place your forearm against the wall and open up through the chest. Another excellent stretch would be to um, walk through a door frame. Walk, don't walk through the door frame, but walking through the door and just kind of reaching your arms on the side. So I've got my right elbow against a wall. I'm just kind of turning to open up through my shoulder and my chest. Again, taking your time here, switching sides. Taking that dish towel and reaching it behind, stretching your arms that way. And then another good stretch would be to stretch through the triceps. Excellent to use the towel, so ideally you want to walk your hands as close as they can. And you can take your bottom hand and kind of pull on the towels to stretch through your top arm, your top arm tricep. Safely coming out and switching sides. And just noticing the difference on either side. Again, excellent work today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining. See you soon.